Hey there. So in today's video, I want to talk about how we can use groups to organize our clips within DaVinci Resolve and really speed up our color grading workflow. In my last video, I talked about how to create a power grade. So we're going to be also using power grades within this workflow and really kind of getting to tie the whole picture together between my last episode and this one. So let's jump into the color page and look at how we can use groups to organize our footage and speed up our color grading workflow. Okay, now that we're on the color page of DaVinci Resolve, let's actually talk about how to set up these groups and use it to help manage our color grading workflow. So I've got several clips here on my timeline from Blackmagic Raw, and then a final clip here that's already Rec 709. And normally, when we're gonna go make adjustments, we would take advantage of using our clip level adjustments and our timeline level adjustments. So on the timeline node here, we can make an adjustment that will affect all clips at once. And on the clip level, obviously we can go ahead and make adjustments per clip. So let's go ahead and drag our power grade from the last video onto our clip. And we've got our adjustments here that we can now work with. And let's go ahead and right click, reset, reset. And this one, I actually just wanna reset my parameters here. So I've already set the saturation node up to be subtractive saturation by changing my color space to HSV and unchecking channels one and three and only leaving channel two available. So I don't wanna reset this one, but if you go ahead and press this little reset icon down here on the actual adjustments, and as long as you have no effect, see as soon as you make an adjustment, this little effect icon pops up, then you would know, oh, I need to reset that. But you can reset it on the control surface rather than at the node, and you'll retain whatever setup you have on the node level. So that's a nice little tip there. Okay, so this grade is now neutral, this power grade, which whenever you're gonna save a power grade, make sure everything is all blank, and then go ahead and right click, grab a still and save as power grade. So now, if I wanted to add that to all of these, I would click the first one, click the last, uh, press shift, and then click, click the last one. Now I can middle click this first one, and replace existing grade. So now my grade is on all of these clips. Okay, cool. So now all these clips look good. And this Rec 709 looks good. But let's say I thought everything was too bright. We would jump over to my timeline, lower the offset. Now every clip has been lowered a little bit. Okay, sweet. So that's the first basics of how we would use our clip level adjustments and our timeline level adjustments when we're color grading our project to have more control uh, without kind of shooting ourselves in the foot going back and forth. Now to upgrade that control even further, let's say that we determine this capital setting here, this capital building is a scene. The truck is a scene, the capital buildings are a scene, this little lake is a scene, and then my final office is a scene. So let's grab the capital buildings, shift, click, make sure you're on the clip level to do this. And then you can right click those, add into a new group. Let's call it new group one, just for sake of keeping it easy. And let's say that the lake is another group, shift, select those, right click, add into a new group, new group two. Okay, so we're gonna keep it really simple. Let's go to our first group. Now look what's happened up here. We've got group pre-clip, clip, group post-clip, and then our timeline settings. So on the clip level, nothing's changed, but let's go ahead and copy this and then disable it. Go to our pre-clip. We'll paste this, so our color, color space transform is now gonna happen in the pre-clip. Our clip does not need that anymore, so let's delete it. Color space transform out, let's copy this, and we'll paste it on the node in our group post clip, and go ahead and delete it back here in the clip level. So now, what's happened, take the rest of our clips in this series, and middle mouse click the previous one. So now we've got, on the clip level, only our clip level adjustments that we're making, and we can use these for shot matching. So let's say this is a little too bright. Let's bring our exposure down. 
And now maybe these are matched a little better. But on our group post clip level, we have our actual color space transform going out. And then if you want to add a node from here and make some look adjustments, that's when you can really get creative on managing your afternoon shots to have their certain look. And then you can manage your morning shot to have its look. And then you could manage this clip to have its look as well. So using group clipping or organizing your clips into groups gives you greater control. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, hopefully that's value valuable in learning how to set this stuff up. Okay, I'm gonna hop off. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.